Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this particular video, we are going to analyze the GATE 2017 paper, particularly for the engineering mathematics section. This section uh, is asked for normally 10 marks in the GATE exam. So it can help you build up a good score if you do the questions uh, of this section properly. So we will see what kinds of questions were asked this year. One question was based on finding the rank of a given matrix. So a 3 cross 3 matrix was given and we had to find the rank of that matrix. Uh, the answer was coming out to be 2. Actually uh, the determinant of the 3 cross 3 matrix was 0 and we had a non-zero 2 cross 2 part in that matrix. So the rank came out to be 2. Quite easy. It was very easy question. Then another question was based on Taylor series. A function was given to us, so an exponential function like e to the power x plus x square, something like this. We had to expand this given function using the Taylor series expansion about the point 0. And we had to do this up till 4 terms. So 4 options were given uh, and you had to find all the 4 terms, then only we were able to eliminate the options and get the correct result. Another question was based on eigenvalue. A uh, 5 cross 5 matrix was given actually. And it was told that one of the eigenvalues is real. Now a 5 cross 5 matrix will have 5 eigenvalues actually. So if one of the values is real, the other 4 are like imaginary numbers. And we know that they will exist in conjugate pairs. So we had to find the value of this real eigenvalue using trace etc properties. Another question was based on checking the linear dependency actually. You were given three equations and means three expressions of x and we had to find if those three expressions formed linearly de uh, dependent or independent equations. We had to check it and we had to verify the result for a given range of x. It was like minus 1 to 0 and 0 to 1 something like this. Another question uh, was based on the newton raphson method under the numerical methods. So this we can see like from many years this method is being asked. So just focus on this. Uh, we had to do two iterations. Uh, to find xn plus 1, we use xn and the value of the function and its derivative also based on the formula. So in this particular thing you have to do, uh, do two iterations. Uh, another question was a simple differential equation. You had to solve the differential equation and options were given in this and you had to match. You could do, have done means vice versa also. You could have taken the options and differentiated to uh, get the given differential equation which was in the question. This was also very easy and it was very scoring also means. And uh, another question which we got was uh, from the uh, for the calculation of volume, in, uh, Cartesian coordinates were given, uh, means you had to calculate the volume using the formula integral dx dy dz and uh, uh, means using those coordinates and limits we had to calculate the volume of a given uh, like you can say a 3D, uh, 3 dimensional figure. So this was also quite easy. Uh, this year mathematics portion was very scoring and it was easy also. So uh, thank you so much for watching this video and stay tuned for more videos on other sections as well on the technical topics of electronics section. Uh, thank you so much for uh, giving your time and we will be uploading more videos on the like networks, EDC, analog, digital, control systems, communication systems and EMT in the coming time. Stay tuned.